Last time on our boat story, we made it past the very busy lock 31 in Buckhorn. Today, we continue through Lake Buckhorn through locks 32 Bob Keegan via Sturgeon Lake to Finland Falls, lock 34. Aloha, we are Sava, Cynthia, and Alex, along with our two dogs, Lucy and Shadow. We're traveling America's Great Loop, a 6,000 mile North American waterway from Florida to Canada and back down via the Mississippi. Follow us on this journey on our boat called Mahalo. Aloha, so we're in Buckhorn Lake and uh, this lake is extremely shallow on either end, either side of this uh, channel here. We're looking at about five feet, uh, sometimes down to four. So I've been watching it very carefully, but there are some buoys that are missing. So if you go out here, watch your navionics, because the buoys are not always here. Um, again, a very beautiful lake. Uh, lots and lots and lots of activity, as you can see. There's houseboats behind us, pontoons behind us. Um, and it's especially on a Sunday like today, extremely, extremely busy. I can get back to the helm, but give you a quick view here ahead. And you can see that little tiny entrance we have to go through. So we're going to go back to the helm and do that. But I take a quick look here. Here's Lucy, first mate. Okay, so we've got a very narrow channel here. Um, again, about five feet either side. Below us, about five feet right now, We're about 12 feet total. I just took a peek on to the side. Extremely shadow. shadow. People fishing. This is a nice Sunday afternoon. These people here, those little yellow Adrian backs, even have a tiny little lighthouse. What's well, maybe like seven feet tall on their property that it's kind of behind the trees but isn't that nice somebody put together you can see how pretty it is out here feels like a lake but it's really just buckhorn part of the water lake. oh it is buckhorn lake so they actually call this part of lake we've been in other wider parts and they just call it river oh. alex is killing wasps that seem to like to jump horse onto our lido or horse flies and there's Lucy. Shadow's up here on the bridge. Zav's having hummus and carrots. So we were a little disappointed because we didn't get our Chinese. So I made, Zav had um, chili and cheese burritos. Alex had um, tofu soy sauce that he likes. Something to keep in and mind I just though, had lock, some salad. Lock 32, uh, lock 31, very busy. Lock 30, very busy on a Sunday. On a Sunday, yeah. Don't so if plan you, on docking anywhere. Yeah, I mean, if you find a spot mm -hmm. and have a serendipity, that's great. But even the way the boats move around there, you have mm -hmm. people that have rented 
so they're not real skilled. If a pontoon will park right in the middle of everything so you can't get in there. Yeah, so you just have to be careful. Here's another houseboat we have up here. So these, these ones, they'll say um, stuff on them that you'll know that it's a rental. There's a bridge coming up, and Zava said behind that, or beyond that, is called Pigeon Lake. Now, I'm not sure if these lakes kick up a lot of waves, um, but it's very pleasant today, so we're going as far as we can today. We were so happy when the lockmaster said there's an additional hour on the weekends, open till 6.30. So we're just pushing through as best we can, and um, we've been, I don't think, have we had any locks where we've been the solo boat today? I think we've always had something else in the block with us. Lock 30. Was only us? Yep. Because you said that other boat never joined us. No, uh, they didn't. Like there was another boat. But I guess. boats all over the place though. Dog mm -hmm. house boats. if they're actually using their slide because that would be fun to film so there are people up on the upper level let's see if they're using their slide today They do have a slide, but it doesn't look like any kitties. I wanted to see them use their slide. Only looks like adults. Here comes a, a, a wily little wave runner. Look how fast they're going. <laughs> Aloha, what we're seeing here is Pigeon Lake, Pigeon Lake. It, it's, it's all beautiful. I mean, it may look all the same, but the scenery really does change. We do have clouds that come in and out, so sometimes you see a nice bright and light green. Uh, had no rain today, which is really, really nice. Uh, got another hour or some to go before the next lock, which is lock 32. Uh, and then uh, we'll probably try to make it to the bottom of 34 so that we can continue tomorrow and that'll be another probably another hour and a half or two hours uh, from lock 32 so it's a longer day but it's a nice day to go today it's not raining it's not too windy so I'm very very busy here on Sundays very very busy lots of boaters lots of fishermen um, lots of people out enjoying these these lakes there Yep, you can see here someone's going really, really fast. Money's no object. Just burn that gas. Yeah, but when you've got six to eight thousand miles to cover, yeah, fuel prices do matter. Fuel consumption matters, so. We're going slow. We're doing about 720 RPM, which is about as slow as we can go in this boat. Doing about six, 6.5 miles an hour. So here we have some really nice homes. Look at the black lab there. The rocks, you can see them right below the surface. Here's a house that's announcing it's for sale right here on the riverfront. Very modern box style house with lots of windows. That's not the one for sale, but Still, very nice looking. Alex 
Woods is heading up front. We're just looking at all the nice homes here. Another one that's for sale. Lots of docking. Here's one with a boat garage. And look at all these colorful chairs coming up. Some even giant big chairs. so dark they have to have lamps on during the day. And look at these lawns. Either somebody is doing it themselves or paying for it. They even have a cute little guest cottage out here. Very nice. Very cute. Somebody's got a yellow slide right here. Jump into the water. Ten feet, he said. We are at lock 32, and uh, it is extremely full, as you can see. These locks from 30, 31, 32, all very, very packed. Houseboat, rental houseboats, uh, cruisers behind us and next to us. Uh, we got about 15 miles to the next lock. I'm going to try to stay on the top of that one. Um, otherwise, we got some people right here. Um, I'm going to take a shot. See the town in the back. Let's go check on Cynthia here. The gates are opening. Got to wait for all those boats to. We had docked back there where it says RR, that other rental houseboat, and um, Alex had just tied us up. And uh, then she said, come on in, and we went ahead and came on in. Oh, look, everybody's Alright, so here are all the boats taking off. boats have left. The houseboat is going next. You want me to go next? No. Right there. 
and they're turning around. So anyway, past lock uh, 32, I believe. We're going to lock 34, which is next. And... So Zaha, Zaha just wanted to get filmed these two race boats, the one in the second one behind. shooting into the light, but just showing you the channel. Some bigger boats over there for sure. Bigger even than ours, I think. Or longer. If I shoot this way, it's better anyhow. Um, wave runner coming up on front of the bridge on your port side. Well, that was one crazy lock. Lock 32 was so, so, so busy. We had just tied up um, and then had to let go again and got in, but it was just packed. We are on Sturgeon Lake. We were so glad because the lock master took pity and we had even tied up on the blue line and we heard loudspeaker say, cruiser on the blue line may pull forward into the lock and she switched it from red to green. Do you know how long we would have waited there in that crowded mess? And so she saved us what an hour at least right and then we couldn't get untied fast enough to communicate with alex who was tying up the back and so we she turned it back to red <laughs> and, uh, and then so, she saw us moving yeah i says well i'm already on the move now then she turned to green again so we would be not in violation <laughs> so anyway that is the story so this is sturgeon lake um enjoy a little sunset glow here on the um on the port side starboard is going to be like silhouette because that's where the sun is coming from you got to follow this very very narrow channel it doesn't look narrow here but it really is because only here in the middle is it deep right on either side it goes down to four and five feet there's shadow he said i'm hot and tired daddy i've hot been in the tired. salon lucy's in the sun she had some shade that Cynthia offered her, but then decided she needed to bark. So now she's in the sun. And mommy is enjoying her fan. Which witness, I had turned witness. off because it was too cold. Yes, nothing like a life jacket and working with a lock, lock pole to get a girl. But right, anyway, let's take a quick view to the back. I'm gonna raise it up and you can take a peek. That was lock 32. We skip lock 33 and go straight to lock 34. 33 goes further down to Sturgeon Lake and we're not going there. One thing about heading west on here on the Trent Severn is that the sun reflects so brightly off the, um, off the water. Um, I'm gonna get my sunglasses out, but then I usually can't see my chart plotter, so it's a constant game of removing sunglasses um, but yeah it's right about now which is like 5 30 um, towards six o'clock it gets really really bright for like two hours on the water with a reflection so we have the most smooth water now we are between lock 30 because lock 33 is a different track so we won't make it to lock 34 in time as far as cross it or pass through it but we'll be there for tomorrow evidently lock 34 is an interesting one it's called Finland Falls and it's on an island and the town is supposed to be really nice 
very popular with tourists. And so we're just enjoying this really smooth water across. Is this a lake? It sounds like a lake. Sturgeon Lake. That's what we're going across. Now this side, of course, is way too bright. Silhouette. But you can see how big it is. Nice and smooth. We have an occasional wave runner, but really, after all the boat traffic we have had all day, I guess they've gone home because we're not even seeing pontoon boats. There was a lot of restaurants over there. This looks like residential, and so people are settling in for the evening, I guess. Maybe, you know, having some cocktails or something else, or after work, it's Sunday evening. So, all the busyness that we just got through that lock. Thank you, Lockmaster, Mistress. It's so nice that we get to just enjoy this really smooth water and get up to Lock 34. So, we're on our way. Aloha, we have come to Sturgeon Point, which is this right here. We have to sort of make a U-turn around that to the other side, straight ahead. Sturgeon Lake continues down, and Lock 33 is down there. We're gonna go on to Lock 34, which is down this way, towards Lake Simcoe. Aloha from Lock 34. Well, almost. It is near sundown. Sundown's at eight o'clock here right now. And we are um, 2.1 miles away from the lock, but I figure it's going to be too dark for me to to finish off the day with you all. So uh, take a look here. It, uh, we just left Sturgeon Lake into the entrance of the Trent Severn again. You can see what Zav and Alex are doing here now. This is us securing. We're so glad we got here before sundown so we can see what we're doing. Alex, what are you doing? Okay, come and I'll get your headset. No, no, come. We don't want to lose a stick. Here, help, help dad. Well, welcome to lock 34. So I'm told it's one of the highest locks in the system. We got here right at sundown. And Alex wanted to take a look at the lock before it's totally dark. So we're gonna go up to the top here and take a peek. What is this, Alex? Some kind of winch, the lock. So Alex says, he thinks this is the old lock right here. That's how it indents here for doors and indents over there. You see Mahalo down there. Very possible, I don't know. You can see the hinges left over. Yep, looks like hinges. All right, let's go take a look. So Alex, I think it goes underneath here. Walkway under bridge, Main Street Shops. This goes under and reveals this huge door. This is going to be a good size lock. Yep. Yeah. Up oh, there, you have it. Lock 34. Mm -hmm. It's totally full. Hopefully, they empty it for us tomorrow. Beautiful sunset there. Yep. Take a look. 
There is a pizza, slices and ice cream scoops, uh, and a winery. Ooh. That is downtown, I guess. Subway, block 34. Yep, that's it. And of course, this way, you see Mahalo right down there. Thank you again for watching. Mahalo uh, for joining us on this journey. Uh, and uh, we'll see you again next week. In the meantime, please like, share, and subscribe as always. And we'll see you again next week.